Good morning. Here is the disclosure of the affiliations. Um, I'll talk about uh, the new aspect of the patients with chronic myeloid leukemia uh, who now live normal lives due to targeted therapy and can even think about uh, having children. Uh, however, this information is very scarce and the data about uh, management of uh, the female patients during pregnancy are very limited. And uh, in order to um, define how this population lives, how it is uh, controlled uh, and what are the outcomes of pregnancy in female patients, we started uh, the um, study within European Leukemia Net. I'm sorry, I'm trying to go to next slide, but... That's okay. fantastic with the counter there, it's beautiful. <laughs> I can talk without slides, however, the slides it could be better. <coughs> well, this slide, can, this, this slide has been on long enough, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next. <coughs> okay. Because maybe well, I was... starts to count again, my God. This comes over here, so... Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, um, we have gathered the information about 305 cases in the European Leukemia Net Registry regarding the pregnancy outcome in female uh, patients with CMAIL. The purpose was to describe the pregnancy conception outcomes and the management of the disease in these patients, focusing on the characteristics of patients at diagnosis and at pregnancy, uh, focusing on management of female during pregnancy, pregnancy outcomes and characteristics of children and their follow-up. Uh, YLN registry was designed as an observational study. We invited the YLN centers and participants from other countries to uh, register together all retrospective and prospective cases of pregnancy in female patients. We started since February 2014 and uh, since that time we gathered uh, the data of 305 cases in 234 female female patients from 13 countries worldwide. Uh, the countries uh, were represented not only by European uh, countries, but also uh, countries from Asia. Um, we gathered also cases from Argentina and USA. Uh, very briefly, uh, the results of the research were as follows. Most of the pregnancies in female patients uh, ended in labor. Labor was the most frequent outcome, so uh, the these women gave uh, birth to children. Uh, more than uh, one third, more than two thirds of the pregnancies uh, were diagnosed during uh, during treatment, and uh, seventy one percent of, pe of pregnancies uh, were at uh, conception uh, with the TKI treatment at conceiving. Uh, these uh, women stopped TKIs immediately after pregnancy confirmation. And also there is a category of patients who were diagnosed uh, with CML during pregnancy. Their proportion is rather high, 25% of patients. A major or deep molecular response, which is now the goal for CML patients, was only in 44% of pregnancy cases with a known molecular status. That means that not all the patients achieved a good and stable remissions while they were pregnant. Therefore, a variety of treatment options was used during pregnancy, including interferon or imatinib or nilotinib at late pregnancy stage. However, the rate of the birth abnormalities was very low, uh, 107%, and we didn't observe no, any severe or life-threatening abnormalities in born children. Their follow-up <coughs> was um, uneventful, and now the median time of observation for these uh, children is nearly five years. So a normal childbirth is possible for female female patients. We uh, found no increased rate, rate of birth abnormality, even when TKIs were stopped immediately after pregnancy was discovered, <coughs> and no situation of uh, the abnormalities with imatinib or nilotinib use at late pregnancy, although these data are still limited. Uh, the results of uh, conception and pregnancy, uh, the study um, of this population, may be valuable for the development 
the CML treatment schemes, considering the variety of disease status and therapy options, because uh, we do not have the recommendations for CML patients uh, during pregnancy so far. Uh, thank you for your attention. Well, thank you very much for addressing this important topic in patients that uh, live long now with uh, CML. Uh, any questions from the press, please? In your abstract, you write that most of the pregnancies, that's 77%, uh, ended in labor. So what happened to the 23% that did not end in labor? Uh, the other outcomes were induced abortion, uh, miscarriage, and uh, for 2% we have known the data of the outcome. So uh, the most frequent outcome was labor, and it means that uh, these women wanted to keep their pregnancy, wanted to prolong it in spite of the risks that could be present while they were on targeted therapy. And were any blast crisis observed, accelerated disease in patients being pregnant and not taking tyrosine kinase inhibitors? Um, there were no blast crisis during pregnancy. Uh, there were um, five deaths between all this population of more than 200 patients after the childbirth, after some period of uh, treatment and in fact four of these uh, patients were treated inadequately and they were not uh, compliant to therapy. So the compliance to therapy of the young women is uh, another problem which uh, we had to deal with in this population. Okay.